All right. Today I want to discuss the various Streamlight infrared pistol lights. So first thing I'm going to tell you is their naming scheme is really dumb. Doesn't make a lot of sense, and it's easy to get confused. I'm going to try my best to break it down clearly for you, so know your options. I think these are one of the best options in the price bracket. So first off, I have here is the TLR2 IR iSafe. It's all infrared. It has an LED infrared illuminator, which uh, in my experience on good dark nights will throw almost 300 yards. It's plenty for a PCC or SBR even, but uh, it's at home on a pistol if you really need a blast through photonic barriers or something of that sort. It's very focused. It's focusable, so you can open it up for a nice wide flood if you need to. On the bottom is an infrared laser. This is zeroable via these small screws, but there are no clicks on the adjustments. On the back, there is a toggle switch, which will toggle between laser only, illuminator only, and laser and illuminator. I find this very handy. Uh, it's a feature that I miss in other lights because I can turn just the laser on if I need it or just the illuminator on when I'm shooting with a red dot so I don't have to worry about if my red dot and laser aren't zero to seeing two dots. This is one of my favorites. They're pretty hard to find. Uh, I got mine on a deal but right now they're discontinued so you're, you'd be good to get one under $300. They run 300 to 400 if you can find them. Next is the TLR VIR2. This is new light, still production. It has a LED infrared illuminator a white light and infrared laser. The main position switch on the bottom does visible light, off, or infrared, which is nice that it has an off position for storage because uh, you won't know if your infrared light turns on, it just drains your battery. This one has killed a couple batteries, and remember, you have to remove it to replace the batteries, so you, you lose your zero. I mean, it's close, but you're gonna wanna confirm. This one, it has a single 123, and this is two 123s. Uh, the laser unit takes up the other side so you can't. This has adjustments you can do with a flathead screwdriver. There are no clicks but there are witness marks which can be helpful uh, just to make sure that it wasn't adjusted too far. It's, they all have the same paddle switch on the back. It's typical TLR1, one way constant, momentary the other way. One thing I don't like about this is the laser only works with the illuminator so you don't have the option of illuminator only or laser only. That can be an issue. Uh, I've had issues with guns where the frame would flex and the laser would lose zero and then I suddenly have two dots in my red dot window and you have to decide which is which and shoot accordingly. The main reason I like this is it fits in Safari Land holsters. This does not fit in standard 6000 series Safari Land holsters. There are various options for that. You could get a custom Kydex made. Uh, I have a Blackhawk Omnivore which works great with this light. Uh, I plan to chop it up for use with suppressed pistols. But when it comes to a duty belt holster, the only thing I will use is a far land. So this is pretty much out. So the TLR VIR2 gives you a decent IR option while still not giving up white light. Though I prefer if it's going to be a white light gun, it has a much more powerful white light. So two more that I don't have examples of, but I can tell you about quickly. The TLR1 IR is just a TLR1 with an infrared LED. It only does LED illumination. It's pretty cheap. Right now it's like 165 on Amazon. And it, it would be interesting to try out, but I, I need, generally need my guns to do more. Like the whole reason I, I, I would want this on the bottom is to give me more options over just an illuminator. Because with the SRO, I can shoot pretty much passive all the time. And then I want the option of a laser if I need to shoot through a low port or something like that. Another one that I've seen that really gets people is the TLR IRW. That's a TLR2 with a white light and an LED or infrared laser. I don't understand why they make this. I don't understand why people buy this. I guess back in the day it was do you want to have an infrared laser or nothing? So this was a good option, but if you could snag a TLR2 IR, I would much rather people buy that than IRW because an illuminator with a, la with a pistol laser is very needed because the bloom is so big you're shooting small targets and it'll just blow out the target and then you can't really see well because of the bloom on the laser. I think that'll about cover it on Streamlight IR pistol lights. Um, 
hopefully soon I'll have a few surefire options to cover and we'll have a similar video. All right, here we're gonna get some footage comparing. Here's the TLR2 VIR2 on IR. So you can see it's a nice wide flood beam with the pointer in the center. Doesn't really blow out the target. Here's the Streamlight TLR2 IR. You can see it focused all the way down there. It's a nice tight hotspot. See how it's a nice wide open, and that's illuminator only. So there's pointer only. There's a wide illuminator and pointer, so you can see it's kind of the best of both worlds. Now for comparison's sake, here's a full power PEC 15 on low. And high. And one more for comparison, here's a D-Ball A4 on, I believe it's low, but the Illuminator only does one setting.